911, what's your emergency? You, you, you have to help us. Ma'am, you need to calm down. Tell me what's going on. We, we don't know what happened, but we, we think our friend might be dead. Please hurry. You need to stay where you are. I've got officers on the way. Don't hang up the phone. I will be here just in case. Oh, oh no, Maddie, wake up! Please, please help, help, help us on the way. Please just stay with me. Vanessa, are you okay? Stop it. I don't understand how you can be so calm. Wasn't Maddie your friend? She was, but I don't think she would have wanted us to put our lives on hold. Look, I'm sad too. She was our friend. But shouldn't we let the police do their job? They're not doing anything. It's obvious the school is trying to cover up what really happened. Cover what up? The bruises. The marks on her wrist. It's obvious that Maddie was murdered. I don't think the school's covering anything up. They're just letting the police do their job. And I think that so should we. No. We're gonna figure out what really happened. Where are we going? Just shut up and walk. Vanessa, stop! Stop what? Are you even hearing yourself right now? It's like you don't even care. I do care. You know, at least I'm trying to do something. What are you doing? Nothing! There's nothing we can actually do. <laughs> Let's just go home. I thought this was a private school. How can someone crazy like Vanessa be here? Her friend died, we get it. Anyways, my dad pays way too much money for this school for someone like that to be here. Have you not heard? She's saying the school is trying to cover up Maddie's death. Like, get some help. <laughs> Hello? Hey, um, Orlando, where are you? I'm home. Why? Is everything okay? Well, I spoke with my aunt. The one that works at the police? Yeah, well, she works at the morgue, but anyways. I overheard her talking about Maddie the other day, and I asked her if she found anything strange in the autopsy. At first, she wouldn't tell me anything, because you know, policies, but I think I convinced her to give us some information. Get over here. I don't know about this. You think she'll give us any information? Okay, on my way. What can I do for you folks? Vanessa said you found something strange in her friend's report. Last name? Hart. Okay, let's see. I did find some marks on her wrist and some internal bleeding that happens when someone is fighting back during an aggression. What are you trying to say, that her friend was... That it was homicide? Yes. I can give you guys a report so you can try and open up a new investigation with the police department. But, like I told Vanessa, Maybe try waiting and see what the police are able to find. Other than that, that's really all I can do. I'm very sorry for your loss. Um, thank, thank you. Oh, right, thank you. Excuse me, sir? Hello, officer. We were wondering if you could help us with opening up an investigation. I mean, you can't just open up an investigation. Do you have any reports or anything uh, that would help Vanessa, it? nice to meet you. We went inside and we spoke with the forensic. She gave us this report. We were wondering if you could help we, with... We think our friend Maddie was murdered, but we also think the school might be covering it up. She wasn't crazy. Do you think you could help us prove it? I'll do what I can. 
Something I can't promise is that a lot will be done. We've already opened up this investigation, so I don't think anyone's gonna want to look at this. Thank you. Thank you. What now? Let's just wait and see. Hey, your shoe. Careful. Hey, I know you. You're that girl from our English class. Cecilia. Oh, okay. Orlando, can we no, just No, wait, go? please, please, please just listen to me. I saw everything. What do you mean by that? She was screaming for help and no one was coming. It's not my fault, I swear. I, there wasn't anything I could have done. You're not making any sense. Your friend, Maddie. I, I saw how she died. You need to tell us everything you know. There was blood everywhere. I, I was coming out of my evening class and I was, I was walking across campus and I heard someone screaming and I, I was scared because I, I thought it was weird to hear screams at night on campus. Derek. I told you, leave me alone. You just forget about me already? I'm, I thought you loved me. I, everything that I did and you forget, I did everything to make sure that you knew that I loved you. That's what you call love? All those times where your anger would take over and you would just start to hit me? Yes, I loved you but not anymore. Now, Derek, I'm serious. Leave me alone. Don't make me call the cops. Don't say a fucking word. Are you crazy? Let me go! So I, but I, I followed the echoes and I saw her with Derek. <laughs> Fuck you, Maddie, I love you! Well, I don't! She spent so many months afraid of him and 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 scared that she wouldn't be able to hide from him this time. And and now she's gone and it's it's all my fault. Vanessa, listen to me. It was not your fault, okay? There's not much we could do. We tried helping her. But every time we talked with her, she would ignore us. You don't understand. Okay? She tried to go to the police, but she didn't want to go alone. She asked me to go with her, but I, I couldn't because I was working that day. And now she's dead. And it's all my fault. This is not your fault. You wouldn't mind coming to the police with us, would you? Your only hope with getting him in jail. No, of course not. I'll do anything. At first I was scared to speak up, but I'll do anything. It's okay. Thank you. For what? For not giving up. Thank you for getting me to believe in you. No matter how many times I tried to make you forget about Maddie's death. You never gave up. So thank you. No. Thank you. For believing in me when everyone else thought that I was crazy. You never let me believe that this was my fault. It just really made me realize how much you mean to me. Thank you. 
I will always be here for you. I love you. I love you too. Sorry, it's, it's my mom calling. I'll be right back, okay? Good. See you soon. Sorry about that. Uh, we can go now. What the fuck are you doing? Maybe next time you should really think about who you're killing. But sadly for you, there won't be a next time. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't have time to be talking to crazy bitches right now. Because of you, I can't sleep. Yeah, that's the